Look at the DNA on this. You can kind of see how it's been played. I could probably clone the owner. Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just right. Back with the Dollar Bill Kramer. And as you can see, all the DNA is removed off the neck. The neck is nice and smooth, nice and clean. And it even has a little bit of a sheen to it, you know. A little bit of a matte style gloss finish. Well, not so much of a gloss finish, but see reflections this is really smooth my thing is is that if the frets are going to be nice and smooth and feel like chrome or glass well the fretboard should feel nice and smooth as well that's kind of my thing i do it with all my fretboards so this is a 9.5 inch radius fretboard i used a 10 inch block just kidding i used a 9.5 inch nine and a half I'm not going to use the wrong tool for the job. I ain't that guy. And she's looking really, really good now. So to get to this process, basically, well, tighten up the fretboard or tighten up the truss rod. Give the fretboard a back bow. Start plucking frets. Makes it a lot easier to remove them. Straighten out the neck. Very important before you start doing any sanding or radius sanding on your fretboard itself after removing the frets otherwise you end up with a nice low spot right here and high spot here and a high spot here so make sure you want to straighten out your fretboard so this is really nice and flat now no rocking back and forth no nothing i mean this is like flat flat cleaned out the fret slots vacuumed everything up got all the dust out of them it's ready basically for installing new frets. I got my fret wire right here. Just have to bend it and get things going. So how do I determine if the frets need to be replaced or just leveled and crowned? Well, I have a tool here that I kind of made to help me to make that decision. And it's been working out pretty good so far. So these frets here have some damage done to it, basically just wear and tear. And you can kind of see in the light there's some flat spots in the frets and you know it's just use i mean you just this guitar was played and you can see right there that there's a divot in the fret and a lot of these frets have it it's not just like one or two or three of them a lot of them have got it and it's kind of a natural thing to happen as far as when you're playing guitar you play guitar a lot and your frets start wearing out you also if you do a lot of bending you also get flat spots over the fret under the string uh in that area that you're scraping the fret the string wire across and in time that just seems to kind of like wear the fret out so what i've done here is you've seen me use this tool before and i modified it a little bit to get what i'm looking for as far as trying to figure out uh how much is too little of a fret before it needs to be replaced so as you can see the tip of it is on an angle and i cut both sides of it angled both sides of that tip and what that did is narrow the tip down a little bit to where i can get into this fret wire and go over the fret wire using the fretboard as my flat surface and watch the changes in numbers over here in thousands uh, of how much of that fret is basically gone and then I'll decide well if I go ahead and try to level this how much of that frets going to be left over and is are these frets going to be playable you know, they're not going to be as tall as they were. Am I going to be able to crown them? Uh, polishing is not a big deal, but crowning them is going to be. And I don't want just a little tiny hump there that is not going to be playable and cause problems. So when I determine how much meat is on these frets after crowning them, it all depends on what this is showing me as far as numbers go. And then I'll replace the fret. So this gets a whole new, whole new frets all the way down. And I'd rather start off with new 
instead of trying to crown, level and crown those, and maybe have a problem to where I'm going to end up pulling them anyways. So right now, I am just going to sit back and relax and watch a couple of YouTube videos before I start putting in frets. <laughs> 